The YSL RICO case has been filled with an abundance of unexpected and dramatic developments that have garnered significant attention from the media. The most recent legal maneuvers by the defense only contribute to this ongoing pattern. Brian Steele, the legal representative for Young Thug, has submitted an additional pair of motions aiming to eliminate evidence. This brings the total count of such motions to a staggering 23. The recent filing of the 23rd motion, submitted on July 27th, may not appear to be particularly significant, as it is merely a request to exclude evidence related to the arrest of co-defendant Shannon Stilwell. However, it is the 22nd motion that has brought forth a surprising revelation. In the motion, it is stated that Mr. Williams has no direct involvement in the matter. He was neither involved nor arrested on March 17th, 2022, and he was not charged with the alleged murder of Mr. Drinks. However, law enforcement officers apprehended Mr. Shannon Stilwell at 2481 Meadowlark Drive, East Point, Georgia, 30344, during a religious ritual that purportedly included the sacrifice of goats. According to NPR, Although there has been much speculation regarding the religious beliefs of Stilwell during the alleged sacrificial act involving the goats, it is noteworthy that this practice remains prevalent in various religious traditions. These traditions encompass monotheistic religions such as Judaism and Islam, as well as polytheistic religions like Hinduism and syncretic and pre-colonial religions such as Santeria. Judge Ural Glanville has not made a decision regarding the motion, and it is uncertain when he will render his ruling. The recent development in the YSL RICO case has once again left people astounded. On July 21st, young Thug's lawyer was denied bond, and prior to that, a motion in limine was submitted at the start of the month by the attorney, aiming to have jailhouse conversations excluded as evidence. On July 5th, a motion was submitted that seeks to exclude all jail calls made by individuals other than Mr. Williams. The basis for this request is that these calls are considered hearsay and or an infringement upon the confrontation clause. To put it simply, Steele asserts that phone conversations made from within prison walls are monitored by law enforcement officials who may subsequently employ the information gathered in other criminal cases. This implies, although it does not conclusively prove, that these discussions contain potentially incriminating content. Consequently, Steele seeks to have them omitted from the official record. In the month of June, Steele submitted two additional motions in limine in defense of Young Thug. These motions contended that Detective Quinn, a witness for the prosecution, will inaccurately claim that Thugger, whose given name is Jeffrey Williams, provided information to the detective regarding an unconnected homicide case. Consequently, attorney Brian Steele made a formal request to Judge Ural Glanville, urging for the exclusion of Detective Quinn's testimony. Steele argued that the testimony is both inaccurate and irrelevant to the trial of the aforementioned case, as it unnecessarily brings Mr. Williams's character into question. Furthermore, Steele is urging Glanville to disregard any emergency calls made by Young Thug pertaining to the unidentified homicide. Additionally, Steele emphasizes the importance of safeguarding Young Thug's entitlement to a just trial. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.